Okay, I'm back again. Just did my skincare routine. So if you want, go watch that video. Now we're just gonna go into makeup. For a while, I used this concealer. I don't even know what concealer this is. I got it at like TJ Maxx. But now I use this concealer. It's the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Satin finish, whatever. Um, in the shade Fair Warm. Honestly, I wouldn't even do my makeup today because my skin looks fine, but we're doing it for the tutorial because why not? But usually I'll only put makeup on if I'm like breaking out. So we're just gonna put these in random places where I have like scarring, which I don't care about. I'm just gonna put some like here. I have like this dot on my forehead. Like right here, 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 right here maybe. If I break out, just know I love you because this is, this is why I'm doing it. And I just blend it out with my finger. Loki okay, looks like I did nothing because I really didn't do anything because, but usually if I was really trying to cover something up then I would like be going crazy and I'd put like layers and layers of concealer on. But today we're okay, so I don't care. Like this looks, I need a tan. I desperately need a tan. And then I'll just like put whatever I guess there's not even anything on my finger, but whatever is like left of this swipe under my eyes. I'm gonna make this tutorial as affordable as possible because I know I'm a cheap bitch. I got this at like TJ Maxx, so it was like really cheap. Get the wet and wild contour stick instead. Cause it does the same thing. It's like they both have really similar colors. And I'll like warm it up with my finger and I'll swipe it on my hand. And then I'll just take what's on my hand. I'll just like lightly tap it. And I'll put it like right on my cheekbone. Like I won't really put it underneath or like above, but like right on my cheekbone. And maybe I'll like blend it upwards a bit. This is like a really simple makeup routine. Like I don't wear a lot of makeup. I used to, but I don't anymore. And then I'll put some on my nose, so I'll just take a little bit and I do like my whole makeup routine with my fingers. And then I'll just like go a little bit smaller than like the natural shape of my nose. And I'll just like dot it, like just press it. I don't know how else to explain it. And I'll just bring it up to like where my eyebrow is little bit and then I'll put some underneath my nose and then I'll take like the very tip of my finger and just like lightly try to get like like a little see how it's just like a circle and then I'll just like I'll try to create like a button nose in a way I don't know what I'm doing and then just go like straight across so that's it for bronzer now I'm gonna use blush for a long time, I was using this blush. I love this blush. And I'm trying to find, like, I don't even know if they make it anymore because I've had this for years. But I think they do. And I tried looking for it at Ulta and I think I found it, but they didn't have it in stock. So I'm going to try to, like, go back another time and see if I could get it. But I picked this one up. This is by Maybelline. That's the Ulta one. That's the Maybelline one. Like, the Maybelline one is, like, thicker and it's darker. And then the Ulta one is like shimmerier and it's liquidier. How do we fix this? Just get some weird concealer. And just put like a dot here, here, and here, and then like here, here, and then like some of the nose because why not? And just blend it out. Now we're gonna get into eyes and eyebrows. For a while I wasn't using any eyebrow gel. I just brushed my eyebrows and that was it. But I picked up the NYX brow glue, like the brow glue. It's like, I like it. So. Eyebrows are done. We're gonna do eyelashes and I'm extremely pissed because I love the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara. My favorite mascara ever. Like currently at least, like I love that mascara. 
and I lost it. I don't know where it is. I don't know if I left it at my dad's or or what. Um, this is the e.l.f. like pro eyelash curler. I really like it. And this is like one of the essence mascaras. The label like rubbed off, so I don't know which one it is. So I pretty much just curl my eyelashes like normally. And I'll take a spoolie and I'll brush through them. I'm sure you don't have to do this, but I'm like really extra. And then I'll just put on the mascara like normal. I know a lot of people clown people for this, but I'm one of those girls that like smudges the corner of their mascara. But just a little bit. Like you see, just a tiny bit. Now I'm gonna do the other eye. And if I'm feeling fancy, um, I'll put like a little bit of eyeliner. Not even eyeliner, but I'll just like put some eyeshadow on the brush and like black eyeshadow and I'll flick it out. Make like a little baby wink, like a little smoked out baby wink. But I kind of already did that with the mascara, so it's fine. Usually I just like leave it like this and I'll be done, but I feel like I'm gonna get hate for my oily face. And I know that throughout the day my face like gets really oily and my makeup looks like really sweaty and bad, so I'm just gonna go grab some powder. This is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 10. I'll just like lightly dust it around my face. Forehead. I'm gonna put this stuff on. It's like the Maruka, Marukuja Juicy Lip from Tarte in the shade Hibiscus, I think. So I'll just like dot it. And I'll, I'll put some more on the cupid's bow. And just do that. So that's pretty much the makeup. That's my makeup routine. And I'm gonna change the lighting and stuff. I'm gonna fix my hair and I'll move to different lighting. It doesn't look too bad. But it looks pretty good. Okay, so I think you guys can hear me. But um, I'm screen recording through my camera app because the video on my camera app looked like crap. So this is the makeup and like natural lighting. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my everyday makeup tutorial. Thank you for watching.